Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Virginia Tech Show. I'm your host, Kent Reese. Well, I hope you guys had an awesome Christmas. I sure did. It was awesome. I hope your Christmas was good. But it's time to return to Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech basketball, that is. Before I get into Virginia Tech basketball, I got some, some news about uh, some offensive players. A couple of offensive line. We got an offensive line transfer from Maryland, Johnny Jordan, transferred from Virginia Tech. He seems to be a very good offensive line. And Christian Darasol, who is all ACC, has a clear for the NFL draft. And I hope he has success in the NFL. I think he will. He's a very good offensive lineman. Anyway, back to Virginia Tech basketball. Virginia, it was kind of ugly at first, and uh, Miami has some injuries on normal players. Virginia Tech almost gave it away to Miami, but Virginia Tech hang on the win, eighty to seventy eight. And uh, Virginia Tech looks like big in the very beginning and also the middle. But anyway, time to get onto our scores. Jalen Cones was. Was five and sixteen, two of seven from the three and twelve points. Tyrese Rafford was nine rebounds and thirteen points. Tyrese Rafford continued to rebound the basketball very well. And Justin Munts had surprisingly had a good game. He was five of eleven and five of eleven from the field goal, three of five from the three. You usually don't expect that from Justin Munts, but he did. And nine rebounds. Two assists and 15 points. And our star player of the game was Kavi Aluma. Kavi Aluma was all over the place, man. He shoot the basket he got for the free throw line. He was all over the ball. He made some steals. He made some blocks. He played defense. He did a very good job. He was 9-26 on the field goal. 1-4 from the three. A little off. Six rebounds, four assists. And yes, a career high of 26 points. Kevin Aluma have a very good basketball game, and he did a good job. Man, what a game! But again, anyway, Kevin Aluma, what a game! Virginia Tech for free shots. Got working on free shots. Level thirteen twenty one sixty one point nine percent. Percent. Virginia Tech had eleven turnovers. Still had a working turnovers, but we hold Miami to nineteen turnovers. Gene Tech was 9-23, 39% from that three. Three part that came from, from to Justin Mutz and Jalen Collins. But, hey, Virginia Tech, we can look good, big, but we got to continue that. Hope Virginia Tech continue to be big. Do not underestimate the other team. We got to continue to not underestimate a team. And the team might be... I'm not very good team. We should not underestimate them. We got Virginia Tech got to continue to play well, or we're going, or we're not going to be lucky. Because Miami should have won, could catch up, and could have won this game, but they choke. But we are, and we almost choke. But Virginia Tech pull, but in the end, Virginia Tech pull off the victory and prove the eight and one. Next, Virginia Tech will play UVA um, 4 p.m. Saturday. This is uh, January 2nd on the ACC Network. For some reason, UVA ain't looking at themselves, but they did play then. Um, Gonzaga, who's been nominated anybody. They lost 98-75. That, that usually a Virginia team we don't look like. It looks like it looks like Virginia will be a team like that or play well against the team. But I say do not underestimate EVA. Anyway, that's all I got to say on the Virginia Tech show. We should, should check you guys next time on the Virginia Tech show. And again, if you like this video, if you enjoy it, please leave it a subscribe button. And again, it would really help me out. And again, let's go Hokies!